Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I noticed a couple of changes to grants.gov today, so I thought I'd make this quick little update tutorial video, I guess, uh, to, uh, to give you a heads up. First off, you'll notice grants.gov now has a mobile app that you can download at iTunes or on Google Play. This is the logo you want to look for when you search on your phone. There are a couple of uh, couple of third-party apps that provide like a parallel search to grants.gov and I think what they do is they just pull the information you know off of their website and put it onto their own app. But the official grants.gov uh, app I believe will have uh, more frequently updated and more reliable information. You know, maybe those third-party apps are cool, but me, I like to go right to the source when it comes to federal grants. So grants.gov app, download it, enjoy it, use it. Uh, you've, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh. On the homepage, they have a little, little how-to guide. It's very brief, less than 30 seconds. Uh, let's just take a look. Okay, searching, mm -hmm. managing subscriptions, okay, subscribe or unsubscribe, sure. Check your application status, very cool, very cool. Okay, now the one thing that little, that little video didn't, didn't mention is before you can access the full functionality of the app, you first need to register at grants.gov. So download the app, then come back to the website on your laptop or desktop, and click on register over here. Go through the process. Once you're registered, you can go back to the app, and then you'll be able to do all that good stuff as far as searching for grants, uh, managing any grants that you've submitted, all that all that stuff. So um, register first. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be like me, where you download the app, you click on it, you're ready to get going, and it says, go register first. So don't, don't be me. <laughs> All right. The second thing I noticed that changed is when you search for grants, and I'm just going to go through my typical routine here. So now when you search for grants and you click on an opportunity, there is now an apply button. This was a change grants.gov had mentioned uh, was coming. And apparently here on Friday, April 27th, it is here and it is functional. When you click on it, it takes you now to the login screen so you can put your username, password, get into the system and get rolling. Before, you know, before you had to, you scanned the opportunity like everything else, and then you clicked on package. You checked out the, uh, the all the documents, and then you clicked on this apply button here, which then took you to a login screen. But now it takes you to some applicant FAQs and a little summary, but much easier if you know that you are ready to go. Just click on, on that apply button, boom, off you go. All right, that's um, talked about the app, talked about the apply button. I think that's it. Cool, quick, easy, simple. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me uh, through the website, thegrantdoctors.com, or on social media at thegrantdoctors on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Be glad to answer any questions you have about applying for grants or managing federal grants, organizational capacity, policies and procedures, internal controls, all that good stuff. Um, if you enjoyed this brief little tutorial, hit uh, a thumbs up or a like. Uh, and if you are so inclined, 
hit the subscribe button so you know when the next video posts, and hit the notification bell so you're always up to date as to when they're available for you to view. Cool. Uh, have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.